Hey everyone and welcome. My name is John Narrell and this is my weekly Facebook Live. I help professionals who are ambitious about their careers create their next advancement opportunity. Today is show number 60 and the next advancement opportunity is where can you find 15 minutes in your day for whatever it is that you need to do. But today we're talking about how you can give yourself permission to simply give yourself a little time to give you some space and some grace to get the things done that you know you want to do, but are struggling really with trying to find the time to do it. So welcome everybody again. It is great to have you here. Uh, I know the last couple of weeks we've had some amazing guests that are on the show, taking a little break from that this week, but I can assure you in the next couple of weeks, uh, I've got some great guests lined up that you're going to be interested in uh, in in hearing and listening to. So for those of you who are new, welcome. Uh, I keep these videos here on my YouTube channel, Facebook page, and on my website. So very simply, they're always archived for you to go back to. And uh, and Ken, welcome. I'm doing fantastic today, and I hope you are the same. It's a little hot here in uh, in the mid-Atlantic, but uh, you know we, we kind of deal with this every now and then. So um, thankfully, and, and very blessed, I'm enjoying being inside today and just um, relishing in the air conditioning. <laughs> so I hope you are well too, my friend. So it is great to have you here. Um, so I'm using BeLive.tv for this Facebook Live and just kind of playing around and having some fun. So if um, I'm going to put a couple things up here on the screen, but if you haven't been to my website, I've got a free resource there called Three Steps to Creating Your Next Advancement Opportunity Without Feeling Overwhelmed. So they go to the link that's up there. Um, you'll click on the link to download the workbook, and it'll also enter you into my email community where I email everyone three times each week around various topics about leadership and careers, and you get notified about when these Facebook Lives come out. So welcome. All right. So... Here's the thing, and this is why this topic about 15 minutes, <coughs> pardon me, has been so important to me. So if you've been following me for a while, um, you've heard me say that I maintain this really obnoxious Excel spreadsheet. And I keep a list of everything in this list that I want to do. I will tell you, I never get through everything in every day. I just don't. Um, there's a lot of things on that list that I want to do, not only for me personally, but also for my business. But there are also some absolutes that are on that list. And so every night before I go to bed or very first thing in the morning, I go ahead and I plan out my day. And part of what I've been doing recently is trying to identify where I can give myself 15 minutes. And so for me personally, that's been such a game changer because it's allowed me to put the brakes on things and just slow down a little bit. So I may actually go ahead and schedule some time to read. Um, I enjoy reading. I just don't give it a whole lot of time. And so while I read a lot of stuff for work, um, I'm trying to find things that I'm reading for pleasure. Um, I have a tendency to read a lot of biographies and autobiographies. Um, but even just reading blog posts now of things that, that I'm finding interestingly, like, you know, with my, my hobbies and such like that. So, um, so, you know, one of the things is I'm a huge game show fanatic. And right now I'm kind of fascinated by what's going on with Jeopardy and James Holtzauer and his run at Ken Jennings record. Um, back in 2005 or 2006, um, I had an opportunity to do a non-airing pilot for Comedy Central called Ken Jennings versus the rest of the world. And basically it was this trivia game where uh, five contestants played against Ken Jennings and then the best of the five contestants played against Ken in a, in a final round type thing. Uh, I got eliminated in the first round, but I still had a blast. It was a lot of fun getting to meet him and play the game and such. But, um, but I love reading about stuff like that. I love reading stories about people. So I'm really trying to be intentional about finding that time to do that. Um, things like calling a friend, I mean, to really just pick up the phone instead of texting and, and doing that uh, makes such a, a 
deeper and more significant connection than simply just firing off a text. So there are people in my day whom I call and there's people on my list who I'm meaning to call and I, you know, just trying to get to those kind of things. Um, I'm not a big person to meditate. It's it's something I've I've personally struggled with. Um, I will do more of a centering exercise, which is a, a lighter form of meditation in some way. But um, but I'm I'm putting those things on the schedule to find me some 15 minutes, taking time to cook or to food prep. Um, and and sometimes maybe it's just simply the fact that I'm getting a little bit older, but to take a little bit of a nap. And, and just, you know, close my eyes for 10 or 15 minutes to just recharge my battery, especially when I have a late night, when I'm seeing a lot of clients, um, it just helps refill my tank a little bit and give me some time to, to give me a little bit more energy. But the point here is just simply to find stuff that you enjoy. What is it that you like to do? And so I'm inviting everybody that's listening today or who's listening on the replay is just to put a comment in about how you find 15 minutes for yourself and what are some of the things that you like to do. Let's, let's start sharing some ideas that are, that are here. But when I work with my clients one-on-one, -on -one, this whole topic about finding 15 minutes for themselves can be a real challenge. So for example, when I'm working with people who are transitioning from one job to the next, um, maybe they are currently employed and they're looking to find themselves another job. We know that there's a struggle and I use that word struggle because it becomes sometimes a very daunting task where people will go ahead and think that they've got to rewrite the resume and rewrite the LinkedIn profile and go on these job searches to go ahead and try to find what's ever next. And maybe there's a sense of urgency that's there. Maybe there isn't, but it can become a really daunting and overwhelming task. And so when I ask them, if you could devote 15 minutes to your resume today, what would you do? It's often difficult for them to answer. So one of the things that I'll suggest is to take one part of the resume that they're most comfortable with and to work on that for 15 minutes, meaning they set the timer, like they take out their smartphone and they set, sorry, they set their timer for 15 minutes and they go. They can't have any other windows open on their laptop. They need to be in a place where as best as they can be uninterrupted. They're going to put their phone on do not disturb and they're going to go for 15 minutes and work on that. It is amazing what you can get done if you solely focus your attention on something for 15 minutes. It doesn't need to be perfect. It doesn't need to be complete, but it does need to be actionable. And that's part of the thing. When I work with these clients who are in this kind of career transition space to simply say, look, if you gave me 15 minutes a day, Monday to Thursday, you're gonna find yourself one hour of your time to rewrite your resume. More often than not, people aren't rewriting their resumes from scratch. They're editing it, they're tweaking it, they're enhancing it, um, they're customizing it to a job posting so they can get it through the applicant tracking system more successfully. It doesn't take that much time, but the thought of it can be overwhelming and daunting. So imagine what you could do in 15 minutes. What would it look like for you to set an intention to network for 15 minutes on LinkedIn? To truly connect with people who are either in your line of work or with people whom you're interested in connecting with and to send them a connection request with a message. Shout out to my friend, Natalie Siston from Small Town Leadership, who does this LinkedIn pledge that I absolutely love. And she says, you know, you will always attach a message when you send a connection request. You can't go over 300 characters. It's not that big. And copy and paste is a wonderful thing, right? Hi, insert name. 
found your profile very interesting. I'd love to connect with you. And then put something in personal about it. You know, what's your reason for connecting or why do you find their profile interesting? It's 300 characters, that's it. And send it off and start building a, a communication with them, build a networking relationship with them on LinkedIn. 15 minutes. How many people do you think you could connect with on LinkedIn? Five, 10? Well, if you did that every single day and you were able to connect with five people a day, you'd have 150 new people in your network by the end of the month. Maybe 155, well, let's say 140 if it's February, 145 if it's leap year. Okay, so you get what I'm saying, right? So think about what you could do with that. Another thing to do is find something that's going to professionally energize or develop you for 15 minutes. Maybe it's a podcast. Maybe it's reading an article. And what if you were to listen to the podcast outside of the time that you were in your car or on your commute? Okay. What if you took 15 minutes to check in with somebody on your team? You stepped out and went to go get a cup of coffee and walked right back into the office. What if you checked in with somebody and just stopped by their office and said, hey, do you have a few minutes to talk? There are so many ways we can connect. I, I often say, it's, it's one of my signature talks I give, but connection is a 10-letter word. So is disconnect. We get to choose whether we want to connect with people energetically and professionally, or we can choose to disconnect from them energetically and professionally. We get to choose what that level of connection looks like in terms of how we show up energetically and professionally. Um, what would it look like if you took 15 minutes and just organized your desk, organized your desktop, sorted out some emails? It doesn't have to be, I got to get this whole task done at once. It's just giving it some time, setting the intention to get something done and move yourself forward. Right. You know, one of the things that, um, that I often do when I first start meeting with clients is I invite them to a 15 minute discovery call. And that 15 minute discovery call is simply an opportunity for us to get to know each other. You know, let me find out from you what your goals and ambitions are. Let's talk a little bit about how I could help you as your coach. But 15 minutes, that's it. I had a discovery call this morning that we kept to 15 minutes. Now, there's a follow-up call after, but 15 minutes, we can get a lot of stuff done, whether it's for ourselves professionally or it's for ourselves personally, whatever that is. But now, here's the challenge. Think about where we're wasting time. Think about where we are giving up those 15-minute segments each and every day? And how could we reclaim it? How could we reclaim those 15 minutes? Well, I admit, this is one of those things. You know, this is one of those things where it is often a big, and I just say, it's a time suck. I can get lost in researching stuff online or Facebook or Instagram or LinkedIn, whatever it might be. Um, and the next thing I know, a half hour is gone. Sometimes at night, if I wake up in the middle of the night and I admit it, I grab my phone and I check and now I've got the screen shining in my face and the next thing I know, it's 45 minutes or an hour. I know it is a bad habit of mine. Um, but we're all working on stuff, right? So think about where you could get those 15 minutes back. What's, what's one thing that you're willing to do in exchange for giving yourself 15 minutes of time for what, whatever you choose to set that intention for? Um, Ken, absolutely. Exercise and deep breathing, right? you know, to do some, some really good diaphragmatic breathing or meditative breathing and such like that can, can be a huge energy relief um, and release in, in that regard. So, so thank you. Um, thank you for sharing that. 
So, I mean, there's just a lot of things that are out there that we could do in 15 minutes to help us. It's just a matter of how do we set that intention in order to do it. So your challenge this week is to be really intentional and mindful about setting those 15 minutes for yourself, carving out that block to do one thing each and every day that is specifically for you. It is not for people on your team. It's not for your loved ones or your family members. It's what could you do for yourself in 15 minutes that's going to help fill your tank. I'd love for you to put a comment in the box and share that with everybody. Um, maybe that 15 minutes today has just been simply listening and watching this video. And if you've done that, thank you so very much. I hope I've given you something to think about and something to challenge you with and something with you to take moving forward um, to help better your personal and professional life. So with that, I'm going to let you go. We've had a great chat today. Ken, thanks for joining and everybody else that's been in here. Um, join me next week. And our interview next week is going to be on Tuesday evening. You'll get an update um, with, a, with a great interview about how to never burn your bridges um, and the lessons learned from that. So until next time, uh, if you have any questions or input and particular, anything you want to ask me, go ahead and email me at john at johnnerrell.com. If you want to book that free 15 minute discovery session, you can email me there as well. And don't forget to check out my website. If you've seen this on YouTube, give it a like and a thumbs up and subscribe. I wish you a great rest of the day and um, go get those 15 minutes. We'll talk next week. Take care. Bye-bye.